Warning, the following vid is quite off-brand Nathaniel Bandy because this console hasn't aged well. Let's just get this out of the way. The graphics on this thing haven't aged well. This thing still used cartridges while the Sega Dreamcast and the um, PlayStation used um, discs. The memory card is so hard to get out when you insert it. All you have to do is possibly screw it. Oh wait, never mind. There's different screws this time. Unlike the SNES and NES, they use the normal screws that people have. There's an expansion pack for this system, but none of them were released in North America. The controller is so weird. What is this made for? An alien? Why do the cartridges have cheekbones? I did not understand any of that at all. Why can't you play NES or SNES games on the 64? There's no ga Game Boy compatibility on this thing. All there is you can find is a wide boy, which you have to buy more for it. Unlike the SNES, which had the Super Game Boy. Why is the number 64 so tiny be instead of the rest of it being big? Why is there another buttons of D-pad? I guess I predicted the Nintendo Switch. So I was scrolling through some games and I look at my NES collection and I thought, Huh, there's labels on the top. I mean, look at it, there's labels on the top. But when I look at my SNES one, it has labels on top, correct? But when I look at my Nintendo 64, it has labels, but Kirby does. What sense does that make? The Nintendo 64 brought us Superman 64, which was the worst game in existence. Why didn't we get an, a classic version of this? In 2020, or 2018, or 2019. Oh wait, I forgot. It has the IQ player, but it's only in Japan. Gee, thanks, Nintendo. Yo, yo, punk are all in the house. Uh, I already told you. Get out of my house. Oh, you think your video's over? Well, check out this. We're gonna, you're gonna have to look at the Nintendo 64 DD. The, I don't have this. We're gonna have to do it anyway. You have to use pictures for it because you can't afford it and it costs a lot of money on eBay, so. So you will have to do it using pictures and imagine what it looks like, okay? Okay, then. This thing is and will always be an abomination. Of course you, there's DVDs now, but now it's discs. And it's only exclusive to Japan, and it didn't even last that long. Doshin the Giant definitely looks like an unfinished Roblox character. I really hope that's his belly button. Why why was this inclu not included in North America? I could use this mouse for some for some reason for my computer, but I guess I can't. Which is sad. Mario artists might have been cool and but the polygon one is epic. And what's that right? I like how the cases are just little CD cases. This would have been cool for like North Americans and stuff so they could like see if they could become a video game de developer but it was only exclusive to Japan. Come on, I just literally wanted to, come on. Oh of course this is exclusive to Japan. Why are there time limits on this thing? Why? That makes no sense. Just let us play with whenever time we want. This literally took like 32 MB for the card. And it's even worse because there's no HC rumble. Where in the world is the reset button? 
when you want to buy this thing, it literally translates to Japan, which is cool and weird at the same time.